just. Hello. Okay, yes. Hello and welcome to the stream. While in crookback box, Syria had happened on the crones. The beastly sisters took her in, then wavered, unsure if they should eat her or surrender her to the wild hunt. Siri escaped before they could decide. Pursued by a spectral rider. Haven't we seen this intro enough times? And aren't we in the city? Here we have Nibbles the cat, and uh, yeah. we need to talk to the Baron about his family that doesn't want to see him anymore because he's a bastard. Do -do 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 -do. I feel like something's up with the graphics. Um, hang on one second. Graphics. NVIDIA HAIRWORKS. Turn the hairworks on. This is better. NVIDIA hair works. All right. We teleport to our stash? Nope. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelamost. A witcherly service, that's to hmm. say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Asking the important questions, what will you give me? What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear, how to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Okay, goat fucking Yoda. Seems like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey. To fight Isle, there in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Huh, tonight at midnight. Plowing hangover. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Nice 
Okay. Excuse me. I'll see myself to my room. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a bunch of crazy good swords. Beethwin. Grim. But on Deeth. Sucks. I'm gonna sell it. Sucks. A star. Yeah. Nice weapons. Actually, you know what? Maybe there's some armor in here that I need to put away. Gosh, I wear pretty good armor as it is. This is like one extra armor. Ten extra resistance to slashing, bludgeoning, ten to piercing. This is actually not bad. Extra health too, but like not enough to be worthwhile. Whereas warriors, um, yeah, these all suck. Heavy armor. Okay, let's go see the Baron and tell him about his family that hates him. Nice windows. It's very illuminating. What's going on? Lighting there. Where's the Baron? What will become of the Baron? A word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. See the hollyhock there, the violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned felon. 
in this hole, this reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. And wet. What the blazes? She alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? Uh, yeah, I don't blame her. She's not coming back, period. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to return to a home like this either. Ah, horse bugger, you blind. I know what you think already. You've no need to repeat it. I've not been a good father, I know, but perhaps it's not too late. <coughs> Wouldn't count on succeeding, though. I've nothing to lose. Very well. You were to find them both. What have Anna learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. This dude's beard is disgusting. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? Hmm. Don't know what to choose here. Should I keep myself secret or why not? Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it. Seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. You shut your mouth, sir. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Hey, Clarice. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I take your sword. Agreed. I just got finished telling the Baron about his daughter and how she's uh, hanging out with Nibbles the cat and about to go witch hunting. And he went into this, uh, he went into the story mode talking about where Siri is.
Something's going on with like the textures, the graphics, or something. I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if it's the same as it was last time. So we're doing a race now in story mode. Does Siri have a strong emotional bond with her horse? No, it is unclear that Siri even has a horse. She just earned the Baron's horse in a race, I suppose. But oh my goodness, it's a griffin or something. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to <coughs> save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. So we did find his wife. Uh, she was the lady uh, helping out in the crones. So I know where your wife is. Wife. Plowing hell, why did you not say so forthwith? Where Dude. Why have you not returned with her? I've been standing in front of you the whole time. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives on that. that I cannot understand the physics of the clothing. Yeah. It's like... Nothing more. Yeah, it's just the... There's soft body physics and then there's rigid body physics. Oftentimes, the when it's rigid, like, everything is glued in place. And, like, they only kind of bend a little bit. And you'll notice that some characters, their armor bends with their 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 body. It's kind of that's kind of weird. Okay, you still think me rotten to core, ba base bastard, don't you? I believe I alone am at fault for what happened here. Um, yeah. Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common. Fighters, oh yeah, Geralt's beard. Whoops, <laughs> I accidentally lopped that off. Uh, also, his hair is down, which is kind of weird. Uh, not interested in family story. Your life story, just not interested. This isn't a. Are you, are you still getting a decent frame rate? Because it looks a little choppy to me. Tell me how Anna wound up in that blasted bog. Act with the crones. Your wife is with the crones. What's the difference? Why is one? Uh. Primary is good, okay. She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Of course, it wasn't this guy pushing her down the stairwell. It was some other mythical beast that caused her to miscarry. pay off her debt. A pact with witches. Bloody nightmare sounds like some jack. This is one, one part where I think the realism would have actually carried the story much further. Um, da, 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 da. But 
I send him to the swamp to get killed by the witches? I mean, I, I don't know. Do what you want, or I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp, because we know... I feel like the clean-shaven look wouldn't look so weird if his hair were up. I can't handle the hair down and no beard. Yep. Send him to the swamp. Okay, do what you want, man. Do what you will. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her Let the swamp kill him if you can't. Yeah, I mean, I can threaten to punch him, but then his guards will go like, Hey, you! And, like, draw their swords, and then if I do it again, if I threaten to punch him again, they'll, like, start attacking me. Um... Fulfill your end of the bargain. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now, what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Basilisk. That's what it is. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Story mode. If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Oh, oh, whoa, the basilisk is having a tough time. Everybody's just jumping all over the place. This is a little bugged. You know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go options, video, graphics. We had some. We're, we're gonna turn hair works uh, off. Shadow quality, terrain quality, water quality, texture quality. Let's let's turn off grass density and then texture quality want high and then detail level yeah okay I think this should do it yes there we go <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, is that the thing that you'd shout the first thing? Like, the first thing you'd shout being grabbed by, by something that big? Uh, can I jump up there? Um, get to the top of the tower and rescue the Baron. Can I get to the top of the tower? Can I run around? Um, if I got carried away by Basilisk, I would most definitely be shouting, fuck. Oh, it's just a giant turkey. thing. I was just about to have a meal.
Oh wait, it just showed his like little dagger sheath empty again. Like what the heck? You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. Uh, yeah, so I'm out. I certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? <coughs> I ride for Novigrad. And then who knows where. Novigrad. Yes, we're going to Novigrad. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Hmm, okay. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard Wait, you. I warned him? Why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Go to the go to the bog and fight the crones with the Baron. Or just continue on. I mean, I have an opportunity here. What do you think? I mean, he's already proven that he's pretty much worthless in a fight, right? <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, let's get those crones. I kind of want to see you kill the crones, yeah. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up more men and ride to Downwater. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Okay. Mm. Fuck. Dare you. It's Dobby. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast, but he seems a man to me, just hideous as Arnold's shit. Uh, where'd he get the name? Oof. Strange name. Aye, strange, but he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. I'm not gonna ask. Funny story. How so? Uh, I can't help but ask. Rests, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow. The merchants took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. 
Wanted it terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. <coughs> Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Uh. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. <laughs> Maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. <laughs> Better than that guy, am I right? Okay, so letter of safe conduct in the name of his majesty Radovid the fifth king of Redania The bearer of the present document is entitled to the right of unfettered passage across all blockades on the Pontar River Little prick. Okay, cool. I guess we have passage to wherever we want La. But we need to find a signpost and get Geralt a better haircut. Oops. So we need to go to the port to care trolled. Um Barber. There Barber. There has to be one around here, huh? Um, I totally think there's a barber around here. Yeah, get Geralt a haircut. He's our little Chia pet. Oh, yep, here's a barber. Yo. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Cause I look terrible. All right, short hair and ponytail, or shaved head and ponytail. We can do both. Short hair and ponytail. What does that look like? Oh, it's just as usual do. Uh, shaved head and ponytail. I don't know. What do you think? I think I think his his mullet is is not not becoming. Let's get him a nice crew cut. There we go. That looks much better. So long. That's not a shaved head. Okay. Where are we going? We have a bunch of quests to do. Um, so we can 
We already attempted to find out if Ceres and Vel, and she's not. Find out if Ceres in Novigrad, which is uh, the next city to go to. Then there's Skellige, which is a bunch of islands, and then I think I think this is the next one we should do. Order of the Fatherland. Okay, Order of the Fatherland, whatever. So this big ass city right here. These are like equidistant, so let's just go there. Got an itch. Yeah. So is it just you tonight, or is it is Naomi there too, or how's it going this evening? You guys got big plans. Oh, okay. Didn't, yesterday, Naomi said something about uh, conference, or must be some teacher conference. I'm guessing. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Uh, yeah. Dolph de Jonk... Jonk here. Jonk here? Okay, we need to find the dreamer in the old house. Oh. You say loot. Don't mind if I do. Her days are really long this week. That sucks. Go away. Leave it. But. Oh, the door. Hey, what is going on there, Sarah? Ah! Oh, it's another one of those guys. Nobody wears a sports bra. Right. Yeah. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Okay. Search the attic. The way to the next room is blocked? You mean it's unblocked? Drawing of a crib, hastily drawn by a child, it seems. Pretty stored a bunch of cow's milk up here. Dust. Strange stuff. Shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. I'm sure, this food is super fresh. Yeah, it's it's all about the visual effect. Not really supposed to mean anything. Yes, it's just it's all written by men. Boot. Leave it. Put the doll in the crib. What crib? Is this a crib? There's a crib here. Do 
Loot. Loot. House milk. All right. Another masterpiece. And this house must smell great. great. No joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Wrong of an oven. Okay, gotta find an oven. Oven. There's an oven. The soot sprite. Sarah, you might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. <laughs> Um, uh, I know what you are. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know. And then, and how do you know I'm a godling? Yeah, it's a godling. How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the yeah, fuck the bankers. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to. I don't. I won't. Oh, let's evict the child. All right, should we deal with her? Yeah, let's deal. Sarah, Novograd's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Okay. But your yellow eyes are a bit frightening. Look, mine are pretty. Okay, let me just steal all your food. And wire. Why do you have wire in there? Is wire even a thing in medieval households? Must be very expensive to manufacture. Especially if it's made out of like steel or something. Jeez. In case she needs to make a garage. Smart. Okay, Rudolph. Uh excuse me, we have business. Oh no, wait, I gotta talk to the dreamer. Gotta talk to the dreamer. The lady that the reason why we're talking to her is because she actually is, uh, uh, she's clairvoyant, but only with dreams. Who are you? 
Chris Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. Is she the only one? I have no clue. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture. Get this lady some clothes. Come on, Gary. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream. Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also, get her a bucket. I mean, and you managed to wake me. And like a camisole or something. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. The dreams they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help, but I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. Oh yes, all that furniture trying to eat me. I felt like I was at Ikea, but it was animated. Like Roger Rabbit entered the house. Oops, rolling downstairs. Meet Corinne at the Golden Sturgeon. I saw Miss Corinne leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite. House is still haunted, can't seem to lift the curse, or sell the kid out. I know why the house is haunted. Now this dude's rich, so let's real witch stroll down the stairs. Uh, house is still haunted. Yeah, a bit of I like the little godling. The demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah, pretty horrid apparently. But she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid. Oh well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Sir, I beg your pardon. Don't bother me, please. Sir, I beg your pardon. Mm. Sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Okay, so we need to meet Corinne at the Golden Sturgeon. So she can tell us all about dreams. What'd you say to me? You're in a box with wheels. Go on. Oh yeah, I own it for you. Um, it's the Joker. All right, so we gotta go up. If you're wondering why my room looks a little more pink than usual, you know, just the, the overall effect. Um, we got these new uh, play mats for Ryan so he can romp around my office area. Um, so I guess we're in the Golden Sturgeon. The silver sturgeon because I like alliteration. Oh yeah, alliteration is... It would be much more memorable. Cats, what are you doing? Stop. Cats are deciding to go for a romp in the middle of the room. Jeez. Put some clothes on, you lady. Have you no dignity? A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. 
answer from your heart. Tell me everything and I will tell you everything backwards and then we'll call it a seance. Uh, Let's begin. Yeah, I suppose it's supposed to be suggestive of what for? Ladies. Do as I ask. Job. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Oh, she even has a crystal ball. B, and it moves. Well, I trained her to care more, and that's what I know. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to care more in. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Gary, why do you and have to do that? Ensuring. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Uh, no, we're not going to get into additional tales of no. this weird relationship. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Uh, for, for reference purposes, I, I, I feel like it's important to note that this game is uh, based on a series of short stories and novels by a Polish author. And if you don't know the situation in Poland right now, it is very uh, akin to the right-wing situation in America, uh, where people are very homophobic, um, and they're very, uh, uh, well, they're, they seem like they're, they're gearing more towards the, uh, fascist, um, totalitarian side of things, you know, like, or libertarian, not totalitarian, libertarian, um, and it's just one big mess. It's, they, they have a lot to learn about actual human interaction where people are equals instead of like men oppressing women so um so yeah there's a lot of shit going on in poland that actually this really kind of plays into um to the audience very much uh and like they're totally okay with it they they, they love the the uh the bigotry and womanization and it's it's just kind of and there's like references to ubermen in this game and and a lot of a lot of stuff that i wouldn't wouldn't normally want to delve into so like the gameplay is good but the subject material is really kind of sketchy to me um and i i just i don't want to turn this into a thing where uh where we're okay with what Gary is saying because like he's he's somehow got this idea that people with special blood are better than everyone else she's a child of the elder blood a descendant of bloody falca the rebel burned at the stake the prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the firebrand's cursed blood pure legend no one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about Like, the parts of the game where he's like a crime solver, like, that stuff's awesome. Let's continue. But, like, the way that they develop the characters and, like, they build the world around, uh, like, this really masculine idea uh, it's just I don't know to me it's a little bit disgusting nauseating is the is the the word I would use actually um, dandelion 
what was the previous? I, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, uh, Yennefer and Triss or Dandelion? Go with Dandelion. Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Well, time to sleep. And she's going to knit. Because what else would she do? It's a swallow. Bugging this... Dude with poofy clothing. So I would like to point out, as a person who knits, that's not what it looks like at all. Yeah. You know, knit, pearl, uh, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, pearl. Right? <laughs> Bang. Hey, you have a string around one finger, you, you loop it around, and you push up through the other needle, and then you loop it around, and then you cast off, right? Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. You knit? Have you done any big projects, like a sweater or something? Hats? It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Time in their will. The uh, Rosemary and Time. The Rosemary and Time. Where's that? As you enter Parsley Sage. You come I'm very good at knitting. You crochet and much better at crocheting, huh? Dandelion inherited a brothel. Well, um, as far as knitting goes, I have known a lot of knitters. My mom is a big knitter. She actually knitted Brian a sweater for for his birthday. Um, and it looks awesome. Uh, and my, my orthodontist, when I was like, I don't know, 14, <laughs> he, he's a big knitter. He actually was featured in a knitting magazine. Um, and... Uh, yeah, he showed off some of his handiwork in his office. It was pretty cool. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. I love all the crap that these people say, like, as you're just walking by them. All you have to do is enable her on your cell phone, Gerald. <laughs> I mean, there's literally a search function in the general settings. Just swipe down. <laughs> Um, so we got a, oh, there's an exclamation point on the map. Oh. Okay, what's going on? What happened? Islanders from Skellige. They've taken over crippled cakes. Okay, now we get into xenophobia. Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. Let's make people paranoid about others. Sounds like Skelligers. Yeah, that's being racist, Gary. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much. What's going on there? Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> the guy's gone. Alright. Fine. I'll see what I can do. So there are good men left in the world. Can you clip that? Can you click the clip button on the... <laughs> Man. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. 
What are you wearing, sir? Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. The rules of Novigrad rules. In Novigrad. We fight? Or should we mind control? We fight? I think we might fight. We need some action. Don't have time to go back and forth on this. Let's do this quick, man to man. What? Damn it! What you want to do, man to man, with me? Invite me into the alcove? No, pea brain. Challenging you to a duel. I win. You take your mates and get out of here. Ah, why didn't you say so? I'm always up for smacking a man about the girls. Okay. Smell a card. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? <laughs> wait, buddy. Your friends are cheering in the wrong direction. This guy is like, yeah. I'm just cheering. Fine, fine. Enough. Great for his tits. That sobered me up quick. Gents, let's go now. Fighting doesn't sober one up. No swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Uh, yep. Fuck yourself. You got a problem, mate? Fuck yourself. You got a problem, mate? Fuck yourself. You got a problem, mate? Fuck yourself. Having trouble getting out of the door, sir. You got a problem, mate. Fuck yourself. Oh, and this character, she doesn't even have a name, she's just Strumpet. Thanks so much. We could not have managed on our own. We're not rich. But I hope this is enough. See, look, if this lady can afford, like, a decent bra, like, everyone can, right? Right? Snatch it from their like security systems didn't exist back then. Like people would just go into the store that sells these things and just take them. Uh, should I take her money or like let her have it? Ah, oh, be the nice guy. Let's. He did more than I do. Thank you. It's folk like you restore my faith in humankind. Not a human. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. <laughs> that was a ridiculous situation. Hard times we did in someone wondered if I could help. All right. That put me in a good mood. Um, I'm gonna grab Christina a Coke. I'll be right back. Uh, enjoy the music. Oh, my God. 
Alright, and I am back. I gotta say, this game is starting to get more and more buggy as, as things progress. <laughs> um, it's pretty entertaining. I love games that have bugs. Just like, they put so much polish into this one. And, uh, and it's like, there's stuff that goes wrong constantly. <laughs> it's like, there's, there's really big monsters that, like, glitch around. What are these guys about? Eh. That guy was wearing a mask and he spat at me. <laughs> How dumb do you have to be? Marion time, okay. I never come back, you stinking scadges! All we wanted was. Don't give a flying fuck what you want. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've chose for teeth. I like this guy. Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. All right. Me. Leave it to me. Yeah. yeah, almost like we never left Virgin. Told you to know. Legit! Ah, oh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You know, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. There's a few. Let's chat with this guy. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked cleared some things up as for yennefer well so you found her ha! need to tell me all about it i will some other time got something a tinge more important to take care of now meaning i'm looking for siri i know she came to novigrad might still be here you mean she's come back i'll be damned i wonder if i'd recognize her how many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her? How long is it gonna take for his beard to go back? No Usually it, um, like he gets stubble after like a day or so. And then he started, and you start actually seeing it after like two, three days. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I'll just be able to yeah, we can meditate for a couple of days and watch his beard hair grow in. <laughs> what do you find instead? A shite dog. Not you like dog. The tavern chock full of them. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Pray my dear. I say we stop on the ground floor. It's where he sat and boat. Hmm. 
Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. Where have you been for in the last five days, Carol? I'm waiting for my beard to grow back after I accidentally shaved it. Uh, <laughs> um... Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Mighty fine police work there, Zoltan. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Okay. Quest updated Broken Flowers. Read Dandelion's Planner. Okay, quests. Ventory. Rose of Attire. Uh... Rose of uh, Abashed of its Crimson Hue. Da -da 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 -da. Rosa Molly Gildorf. Wait, no, no, no. It's Gildorf's location. Uh, Molly Vesp uh, Vespula. Vespula? Okay. Arabella Belial. Dash. Keeps very uh, detailed notes. Um, okay. Dandelion gets around, yeah. Hey, yo! Ladies just shouted at us that we leveled up. Oh, we can have another empty... We can have another power in there, so... What are we going to do? We're going to... Add more to our... Potion overdose threshold from 75 to 80%. Oh, steady aim. Time is slowed further 15% while aiming bombs. Every known level 1 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. Toxicity is above zero. Time automatically slows down when an enemy is about to perform a counter-attack. And none of these really tickle me. I guess we could do tolerance, but... Yeah. It's a round, round, get around. He gets around. Dear Viscount, once more I'd like to convey my thanks for agreeing to grace my son's wedding ceremony with your song. Your presence warmed our hearts, and the sweet notes with which you serenaded us so touched my wife's mother, the Baroness de Villet. 
called in some circles a cold and heartless bitch. Why are you just this is a formal letter from Bomil de Rab. Gotta do that, man. All of the commentary on women is disparaging. It's so awful. If anyone actually reads this stuff, it's like eyes burn out from all of the chauvinism. The thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red and hot like a poker poked me in the eye. Yeah, like... The tone of all of the messages between men are written as if the women in this in this universe won't read them and all of the uh letters written by women to men are either you know like fawning or you know hating or you know is is there's there's very very limited it's like very black and white um uh there's there's not much in between there's not like um i i ran into sally she was a great friend you know it's like not not anything that tame like this this witcher universe is all black and white I felt as if I heard uh, the loot you so skillfully. Sh yeah, gosh. Um, it's terrible. It's terra bad. Like, I really wish that this game had better writers, but like the developers on this. The people who actually wrote the the action sequencing, like, they did a great job. Like, this is, it's packed with action, and the way that it plays out is so fun. But if they just hired a woman to actually do the writing for the women, instead of just using your idiotic male brain to be like, oh, yeah, this is how the, this is how a woman would react in this situation. Like, fucking read a book about women. Get educated. Men everywhere are taught the wrong things about women. They're taught almost nothing about women. They're taught about the way men have observed women in the past. And that's not a good way to teach people about other people. It's a gendered perspective. And it is really unfair. I will get off my soapbox now. Broken flowers. Isn't there any symbolism in that? I think so. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week. Please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Dude. What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead, not your concern. Hmm. Um, should I pay them so that they leave her alone, or should I, like, just kick their asses? Go. Now. Now listen. You might have two swords, but there's four of us. Yeah, four men. Collecting tribute from one washerwoman. Don't think I have much to fear. Best think again. Light him on fire. All right. Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for 
note. I think she would be more concerned about the dead bodies. Don't get me wrong, I'm great. And like family nearby whom or or friends that could have gotten hurt. That's another thing. She's like, "Oh, I'm worried about the laundry." No. Fuck the laundry. <laughs> If you remember, we've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Nowhere yeah, else. Yeah, wearing bloodstained clothing, that's... That's like a badge. <laughs> that lion scoundrel! Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. <sighs> so she's automatically jealous? Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but... It would be nice if you dropped by. Yeah. Hey, halflings, okay. Oh my. Here's something that I would like to say about high fantasy games and and just universes. It seems like Different cultures are represented through uh, different uh, different kinds of people in the world. So, like, there's elves and there's you know dwarves and and halflings and um, and orcs and ogres and stuff like that. There's there there's all manner of of, of uh, fantastical. Of supposedly fantastical types of people like you know it's, they're just they just look a little different um but like there's culture tied to them which is uh something that uh fantasy novelists have really kind of taken and run with um it makes me kind of uncomfortable um that that it's okay to do that. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Hey, it's another dude with a book attached to his hand. <laughs> it's book hand, dude. I thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? <laughs> okay. Ellie. This is where they introduce, um... Did you and Dandelion... Introduce, like... How did you two meet? The LGBTQ I community, I guess. Blind drunk. I, I don't get it. Um... What happened? 
happened. What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one Barry, thing come you. on. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Let's, let's find out what the writers put in for this. As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. This character is interesting because they paint him in a very bright color scheme, which makes me think that they want him to be perceived as comical. And that's that's kind of what I what I reacted with uh, is like you know I, I kind of chuckled a little bit at, at the sudden appearance of of this dude on the screen. Um, yeah, there's definitely something weird with the proportions. Um, there's also some weird stuff happening with the actual clothing because like you can actually see the strap on his shoulder, like hovering, um, so like right around here. Um, it's just you know they didn't put any polish on this character. But they also want him to be taken less seriously, I think. Um, what did you talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick bow. In fact... Yeah, this dude's neck is huge compared to everything else. Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. I think it's the neck that's putting me off. ...burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished... Ooh, the goings-on. Impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre. Then rose into the sky and, and the book hands. The book hands really creep me out. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Huh. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Biceps and forearms are so thin. Yeah. Thanks for your help. And the character is nice supposed to be an elf. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Cheekbones are also very pointy. And like... There's all manner of things going on. Um, let's actually buy something. Glad to take. Of course. Masks. All right. I like a mask for a masquerade ball. Let's just buy all the masks. Masks are great. So long. I think everybody will be wearing them in the future. Wait, did they actually have civilian clothes in there? Greetings. Glad to Of course. Cool. Uh, in Skellige shirt. Uh
So let's actually put on some clothes. These are the these are the shoes. These are the shoes. All right. So Gary's not uh, he's not so menacing. Take the weapons off. There. Now he's just a dude. Like a sir. Come to Baskin Armour's fortune. Yeah, like there's characters that are strangely not fleshed out the way that other characters are. Like, you know, Yennefer and her very well fleshed out whatever they did with her. Um and like every every other character that is like Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Anyway. White Wolf, they call you. You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. I don't have any weapons. <laughs> oh man, maybe this was the worst time to unequip everything. This is a misunderstanding, but fine, take them. <laughs> Where did that come from, Gary? Drawn it up for you now. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches, a man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. Oh, they actually... Um... Cory, can we... Can we get a, a sword in here? Wait a second, where did my swords go? They took my swords, okay. Uh... Oh, am I dead? No, no, I'm not dead. I will, however, um... Control their minds. Just get out of the way, guys. Like, really, is not that terrible. Get my swords back. Thank you. Wait. Uh, okay, let's just drop those because those were garbage. Uh, yeah, these are okay. Sure. Let's just walk around like that. Um. Should I have looted them? Like, they might have had a note attached to them saying who put out the hit on me. Ham sandwich put out the hit. <laughs> It was a ham sandwich, guys. Um. Must like the one, that one. 
Fried fish. Fried fish and ham sandwich. Oh! Those damn sandwiches. Okay. Hi, kids. Want to play with a sword? I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come out in the circle. Okay, so I suppose we're going to wait. Let's meditate. Oh, still talking. Uh, uh, noon? Oh, she's. There we go. Okay. Daddy. Mom, Mom where are you? Nothing but catches a cop. He's as good as in the grave. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. How open world is this game? Like how many side quests are there? Uh the game is actually um it has enough quests to keep people busy for a long, long time. Um, I think there is a limited number. Um, but it's just, it's really robust in the amount of side questing there is. Um, see Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life, but he never came back to see me. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Okay. Well, uh, two more people to go, and then I think I actually am going to call it uh, night after I finish this quest here. to go in here. Is this just a shortcut? Oh. Uh. Ah! Gosh, that skyline is so pretty. Does this game have to be so good, yet so terrible? Ah, 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 ah. Um, get a look at those pictures again. This Baronet's love, let's villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious. Oh, it's Bonzo. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. What? You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Oh, Gary killed her son, not he is her son. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I feel your information's out of date. 
Molly no longer works here. Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work. Grew up watching your dad play video games, so you've always enjoyed playing spectator. Well, cool. Probably sipping punch and considering which horse is better. Not in the mood. Well, you're in good company. I love playing games. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. After Arian's demise. Wink, wink, hint, hint, Ubermensch. They really like talking about Arians here. The estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. All right, so where will I find the newly minted Lady Lata? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. I think I can find my own way to the Vagelbud home. Very well. Perhaps I can convince you to join me later at the races. I should keep an eye out for you. That guy still has a very punchable face. Notice board. Nothing of worth. Okay. Um, what's the what's the rest of it? Uh, meet Vorhis at the Vagelbuds. And talk to Rosa Varatrer. So many of the men in this game are very punchable. Yep. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. The people are kind of sliding around a little bit. Glitching out. Something's going on. The characters' behaviors actually change depending on the weather. Like, they try to find cover if it starts raining. But, like, beyond that, I don't really know what else... Name calling, come on. What do you want? <laughs> I'm the new cook. <laughs> I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers. Away with you, vagrant. Okay. You need to find a way in there. Hey there. And I jump the fence. Um. Go in through the back door. They probably have a back door. Oh, but it's way over there. Find a way into the Var Atra Villa. And I just like... Oh, nope, that doesn't work. I'm gonna bend physics here. Can I, can I jump up there? I should be able to, I think. Novigrad, our free Earth. city. Nice. Jesus Christ! Look at them peepers. Falling in love with her, alas. Mom! Uh, let's see. How are we gonna get in there? So, didn't like that I had. Oh wait, the butler. Oh, nope, he's coughing on me. He's dying. Wind's howling. Uh, okay, so can I... I think I'm gonna save here. Save game. Empty save slot. Walk by them. Gonna not walk by them. They're like, uh... Special door? Where maybe I have to go around this way. Oh. 
King's cod was overripe. Wait, what are you guys doing? Um, can I jump up here, please? No. Maybe I can go in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Sure, I'll take that. So, I guess we have to go down here? Like, the, the architecture of this place is a little confusing. I suppose it's not unnavigable. Better clothes than you are, sir. Find a way into this stupid villa. Alright, well, are they going to... Are they going to leave at any point? Maybe I can just, like, meditate in front of them? Fine. They're still there. What's this? Didn't hear me tell you we ain't looking for no cook. Sod off. Well, maybe I can here. I'm gonna save again because like obviously I can't really turn back time here, but yes I can. So I'm going to control their minds. Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Hmm. So I can't get there. Okay, um, creature. Okay, so I think, I think this is where I'm going to leave it for the evening. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, we'll continue the adventures of Gary, uh, some other time. Uh, I appreciate you joining me for the, for the, um, for time we've been gaming and you have a good evening later glad you enjoy it yeah um if you have any suggestions on other games we can uh, we can get started on uh in in future events um just let me know i've uh, i've got a bit of a collection myself um but you know of course newer and newer games come out um Puzzle games, some are adventure games, some are you know, Street Fighter like games. You know, I play them all, but um, you know, if there's ever one that you show a particular interest in, I can check it out. Yeah. Have a good evening. <laughs>